This is Morning Express. It's time for the Friday chat. And, uh, well, thank you for staying with us right here on Morning Express. And joining me is Nina. I hope I pronounced this right. Vishman? Yes, perfect. Oh, perfect. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> From the Gote Institute. And uh, we do know that the Gote Institute does support a lot of art in Kenya. And, of course, uh, Nina, I don't know if you're in the picture. If you know Mzeo Juang, we lost one of our uh, icons when it comes to art in this country. More of a uh, theater and an actor. I don't know if you had ever watched any of his... Uh, no, I didn't get the opportunity. I read about him now that he died, but I didn't know him before. Okay. And maybe that's where we'll start off. Well, maybe we could start off by first of all just letting us know what the Goethe Institute is and what it does because not all of us may be familiar. Mm -hmm. Well, the Goethe Institute is the cultural institute of the Federal Republic of Germany. So mm -hmm. this means we promote the knowledge of the German language, uh, we promote international cultural exchange, and we convey a contemporary image of Germany through our library and our media center. Mm -hmm. Now you do have you do support uh, local arts and uh, uh, in Kenya. Is that one of the initiatives that uh, Gota Institute has? Yes, um, this is exactly what our cultural program does. We are looking for a cultural dialogue, if you will, with uh, Kenyan art institutions, but also with individual artists. So we are working project based. We are looking for artists and institutions in Kenya, and we see what's interesting to them. What topics are they working on? What productions are they working on currently? Um, and then we are trying to get into this, this dialogue to produce maybe something together, to do a project together. Mm -hmm. And then the next step is trying to connect the Kenyan artist and our project to artists in Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, um, a, the best project, and we always strive for this, is when we finally achieve that Kenyan artists and German artists can work together on one project. Okay. So uh, just in June, uh, we had seven dancers from Germany here, from a theater in Germany, that wow. developed a choreography together with seven Kenyan dancers. Mm -hmm. And after 10 days, this was shown on Tom Boyer Street, in a tent on the street on Tom Boyer Square. Mm -hmm. And the group danced together there for three shows. Mm -hmm. And in uh, September this year, the entire group will go to Berlin, also the seven Kenyan dancers will go to Berlin and they will show the same piece in Berlin for a week. Also, it's a way of cross-promoting culture between Germany and Kenya. Yes. And what is your opinion so far on uh, the arts in Kenya as compared to Germany? Well, uh, I'm sure there's a huge difference. Well, the arts in Kenya, that's a very, very broad uh, term. Mm -hmm. um, I think, um, on the one hand, uh, the arts in Kenya, of course, very alive, very vivid. There are a lot of artists um, that, are, that, are, that are trying to put the art out and that are trying also to be seen uh, by an audience. And so, in that way, Kenya is extremely rich and um, certainly as rich, if not richer, uh, than Germany with young talent. Um, I think it's a bit harder for the young talent uh, here in Kenya than in Germany to be seen and to get an audience because um, there are not so many institutions or like um, stages in town right. um, or also in the other cities in Kenya where artists can perform and present and exhibit and actually show their work to an audience. Mm -hmm. And uh, in Germany is that different? Do you have more uh, visibility for the artists? Are there opportunities for them to showcase what they have? In a way, yes. Um, and I think this is because in Germany uh, we have a very intricate structure of cultural funding, also public funding of culture. In Germany it basic basically works on three levels. We have a lot of the responsibility for funding arts lies with the federal states. As you may know, Germany is composed of 16 federal states. Right. They all make the Federal Republic of Germany mm -hmm. and uh, most of the rep responsibility of public funding of art lies with those federal states. They have foundations and they fund the arts in within their state. But then there's also a national level of public funding of culture. We have a um, national foundation for culture that funds art projects across the nation. And even on the municipal levels, there's public, public funding for culture. Um, and this, of course, there are also private donors um, and um, industrialists wealthy people that give money to the arts that are also important for the cultural scene in Germany. Mm -hmm. But I think especially the fact that there is a lot of public funding means that in every town there's a theater. The theater landscape of Germany is very rich and there are a lot of museums and outlet possibilities, if you will, right. uh, for artists to show their art in Germany. Okay. And I guess public funding also works in Berm Germany through the state putting arts and music into the school curriculum and mm -hmm. so that 
at an early age already students can um, can interact with art can get to know art not only try out if they like art and if they would like to produce it themselves but also sort of learn to interpret and appreciate art okay and uh, what is your view from your experience in terms of how much government supports art in this country um, I think that there's some, but uh, little, and I think there could be more there to support more. the Kenyan art scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. And is that the same in Germany? Is there more support from the government? Yes, there is more support from the government. How of do course, they support? Well, they basically support through, they either support institutions, they support, of course, museums, theatres, just like here, nor, or, um, but on another scale, but they support theatres, they support museums, uh, they support libraries, um, but also there are funds for individuals, um, so that individuals can access art funding through film funds, through literary awards, um, uh, through um, small museum associations that are run by independent non-profit organizations but that can write funding proposals mm -hmm. to the federal state government and then receive funding for their endeavors. Okay. Now culture and arts, uh, or rather arts are a great reflection of uh, you know, a, a society's culture. And just not too long ago we talked about Mzeo Joang who we lost uh, this week and in very uh, sad circumstances. Um, he died out of pneumonia. However, what of course has come out of this is the fact that it looks like he was neglected. How do you compare? How would you compare that with Germany? How are artists appreciated because they are, as it were, ambassadors of a country? Mm. Well, I think if you are also aiming at the financial means of artists or what is what is left of those or how they can be accumulated even at an older age in mm. Germany, um, I think on the one hand all over the world. It is hard for artists because they have to manage their own funds really. They don't, right. also in Germany of course, they don't have a steady income mm -hmm. um, normally, mm -hmm. but they have to manage with what they are making over the year and, and, and build resources that they then can draw from when they are older. But you are right, there are certain structures in Germany that help artists. There's a social security uh, system just created for artists, so um, other people earning their money in different ways cannot tap into that, but artists can and they can um, they, if they qualify at, uh, as artists, they have to show that they work artistically, they have to send in some proof of their artistic work, mm -hmm. and then they can be part of this social security structure that provides for artists. Mm -hmm. So there's some, some help. And I think also, again, the fact that there are more institutions providing for artists, also these stages that we were speaking about, like mm -hmm theatres, of course they are also providing over a longer period of time for the artists they work with. Mm -hmm. And in Kenya, um, where in cities where the institutions are lacking or where there are not so many institutions that can um, help and support artists over a longer period of time, mm -hmm. then of course it becomes very hard for the individual artist to support him or herself right. even at an older age. Mm -hmm. What about the general view of the society within Germany towards artists? Uh, we have um, we have what would call celebrity culture internationally, where you have celebs and you know. Uh, but now, how does the society view artists in Germany as compared to Kenya? I think it's hard to compare this to Kenya because I think in both countries, artists are in a way very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. um, uh, in Germany the tradition of course um, is, is very long. Art has a very long history uh, in, in Germany. For centuries art has been appreciated and been a tradition of German culture and certainly also of German self-identity and a reassurance of, 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 of one's own identity. But um, for even also all these centuries German culture being you know a small country within so many other European countries has always been reaching out and, and, and promoted cross-cultural exchange. You know, German artists worked in Austria, uh, they worked in East Europe, they, was, they worked west of Germany. And so um, art has been playing a big role in German public life um, for, ver for very, very many decades and centuries. And so um, the artists are appreciated in Germany and art is appreciated and not only VIPs or stars that are well known mm -hmm. also um, across continents um, but also otherwise artists are appreciated in okay. Germany. But I do think mm -hmm. that artists are also appreciated in Kenya yeah, because yeah. With our, also with the, uh, with the events that I go to here mm -hmm. in town but also that we host at the Goethe Institute on weekends we often host concerts with mm -hmm. up and coming Kenyan artists mm -hmm. and it's very very often full and people come, people, people come and they stay and they not only stay half an hour and then they say, oh, what's this? And they yeah, leave. But they, but they
so I think uh, in both countries, there are just different ways of showing it, but in both countries, art is appreciated yes, a lot. appreciated. All right, I don't know how, um, how they do it in Germany, but in terms of developing an artist from a very young age, uh, you'll find that uh, art, art, artists in Kenya are appreciated. However, it seems to be more of a stumbling into it as opposed to developing the art. Uh, we concentrate more on academics and maybe art comes much later and it's more or less you'll have to find your way as it were. Mm. How, how is it done in Germany and how can we learn from that? Well I think as we discussed earlier since I think it, it, it helps a lot if, um, if, if young people are confronted with art or if you will exposed to art as a ver at a very early stage. Mm -hmm. uh, so if artists or young people have the possibility to maybe already in high school interact with arts, with visual arts, but also with dancing and singing and, and um, but not all, only practicing it, but also learning a bit more of the concepts behind those, that music or that visual art, um, then they have a very early opportunity to um, familiarize themselves with the world of arts and also to start thinking if they, that's something that they would like to pursue when they are older. Mm -hmm. And then of course there are art colleges in Germany and art universities and I think if Kenya would be able to have some more of those structures, it mm -hmm. would be much easier for young people to, um, to develop their skills and, and, and also access access audiences mm -hmm. um, but um, there are approaches to develop that in Kenya and I do think in our international exchanges for example for the dance for sale project when we invited the German artists the Kenyan artists could absolutely hold that level you know that was right. an eye level cooperation and this mm -hmm. is what we are seeking mm -hmm. and I think this contributes to a true dialogue and means that both the Kenyan artists will develop by learning from that exchange and by seeing other and I don't mean learning as, of te as like teaching skills right. but from gaining new viewpoints and mm -hmm. maybe other perspectives of seeing the world but just as well the German artists. Uh, and we are also doing this for the German artists mm -hmm. that they can come and see another viewpoint on certain aspects. Uh, maybe the appreciation of art which was exactly the topic of the dance project actually. It was called Dance for Sale and it asked the question how much do you think dance is, wor is worth and how mm -hmm. much would you be willing to pay for it. And um, so I think these exchanges are very very valuable for both sides. Wow, fantastic. And uh, you'll find that in Kenya we have, uh, like now the Gota Institute, I'm sure you'll find that majority of those who will attend or even know about it mm -hmm. are more from the urban areas. Mm -hmm. uh, yet I'm sure there's some enormous talent out there in mm -hmm. the rural areas. How can we open up that space, do you think? Um, we are, I think not everything probably, at least if I speak for my institution, can be uh, steered and operated out of Nairobi. I think there need to be outlets and also funding opportunities and stages and opportunities to present themselves for artists artists right on the ground in the different in the different counties but maybe now with the devolution this offers a possibility that also also spending money for culture can be spent right in the different counties and uh, of Kenya yeah. and so to give the artists an opportunity to 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 receive some funding and presentation opportunities also there in our work of promoting the German language in Kenya we are working also up country and in other regions because we are trying to support German classes in public schools in Kenya wherever they are taught and we are offering teacher trainings for teachers for German teachers across the country and we go with these teacher trainings up country and do them there um, but we also invite the teachers to Nairobi um, to do teacher trainings how to teach the German language um, also in Nairobi so we are trying to reach out but you are right um, um, there are a lot more opportunities out there that Possibly we, but I think also the Kenyan public and audiences could tap into. In the, in the rural areas. And your take on Kenyan creativity when it comes to the arts? Well, arts and creativity, I think, go <laughs> hand in hand. Yes. You, you know, you can't have one you without the separate, other. Yeah, you can't separate them. And I do think uh, that Kenyan artists are incredibly creative, especially given the sometimes very challenging circumstances right. that we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. And um, I find it very astonishing and incredible and admirable at the same time mm -hmm. how Kenyan artists deal with the situation, how they don't give up, mm -hmm. how they don't sit back and say, hmm, I have so little opportunity, I can't do anything. Mm -hmm. But they try, they, 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 they work also together, they collaborate, 
and they are trying to find any opportunity to develop their art and to develop their creativity mm -hmm. and um, that's that's great okay I know with the arts I know with the Goat Institute you deal with a lot to do with music there is uh, theater there is dance there is all that are there some productions that stand out in your mind that have been done in Kenya and you think wow this is great mm -hmm. well there has been certainly the dance production which has been great and mm -hmm. now they have been invited to this theater in Berlin mm -hmm. uh, which is just one more proof of the fact that this has been a true collaboration project right equal partners, both very good at what they're doing, showing it in Kenya, showing it in Berlin, down for sale. Um, last year we had a large music project, Ten Cities, in which DJs um, doing electronic music collaborated together. Mm -hmm. And um, in five cities in Africa and in five cities in Europe. And there were two large concerts in Nairobi, open air concerts, presenting that joint collaborative music, club music, that had come out of that project. And we also went to Berlin and presented it there in a club last November. Okay. Now, before I release you, um, you are in projects where you're teaching ger German. German? Ger yeah, German. Mm -hmm. um, have you learned some Swahili? I am in the process of <laughs> learning it, but I'm not daring to speak it on national <laughs> TV yet, but maybe next Next year this time, year I, this shall. time you'll, you'll, you'll I shall. I'll take the risk. Maybe you can teach me a few words in German. Ge German is a language I found very difficult to learn. But anyway, maybe we can start with good morning and how are you? Guten Morgen, wie geht's? Ah, at least that's easy. Guten Morgen, wie geht's? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty easy. And the answer? Um, guten Morgen, danke, gut. I think I'll just stick to Guten Morgen, wie geht's? What does that mean exactly? Good morning. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Yes. Fantastic. It's been great having you, Nina, uh, with Thanks us here from Goethe Institute. And thank you for uh, just, you know, helping us compare uh, our arts here in Kenya and Germany. Thank you very much. You're doing much. a good job and keep it up. Thanks. All right. Well, that's where we wrap up Morning Express this morning. And I'll try. Guten Morgen, Viget. Although I shouldn't be saying how are you now, I should be saying uh, goodbye. But anyway, there you go. At least I've learned something new this morning. But we'll take this opportunity to wish you all a fantastic and a great, great weekend. For those of you on KTN, keep it right here and enjoy the rest of your viewing. For those of you in KTN News, stand by for the 9 o'clock bulletin that will be coming up. And also, I'll take this opportunity to say uh, Eid Mubarak. Have yourselves a great weekend. God bless.